feel really bad for them. But at the same time, I'm like, if you're if you're a hobo, you got yourself into that predicament. Now I'm not saying that everybody just automatically did it because they're lazy or anything. I can understand that some people probably had unfortunate circumstances. The fact of the matter is, is that even if you do have unfor unfortunate circumstances, you don't have to, you know, resort to panhandling. You can... You see, I, I look at panhandling as being a sort of laziness that's, that goes beyond lazy. Like, it's just... It's flat out disgusting how lazy it is. Like... If there was another level to lazy, it's it's slobbish. Like <laughs> it's it's honestly slobbish in my eyes. I'm I'm sorry, I'm probably offending a couple people. But that's just how I that's just how I think about it. Because I've personally talked with one before. And he said the reason why he's panhandling isn't because he can't get a job. But it's because he didn't want to. He simply said that he didn't want to work at a fast food restaurant or retail because it was too difficult. And I was like, everybody deals with that all the time. I mean, I guess certain people have their tips, but just deal with it. You'll get <laughs> one day, one day, that guy. You're, you're gonna be that guy who's there, you know, making burgers. Well, one day, one day, you'll be that guy who's sitting at their desk and playing with a, 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 a freaking stress ball because you have nothing better to do. Because you're that successful. Inspiration. Unintentional inspiration. Come here, buddy. Come here, Antonio MT. You're not gonna beat me. No! Come on, I wanted to use this mushroom at the waterfall. Oh, now I can't even. Now I now now I'm just now I'm just a midget and I'm pathetic. <laughs> at least I got me. <laughs> uh, try me, buddies. I had a shell to protect myself from that red shell this time. <laughs> I am protected. But no, I'm not. I am quite literally. Come here, Hellfire. Come on, dude. You should know better than, than to drift into somebody's red shell. Like, that's like common knowledge Mario Kart 101, buddy. Come on. Come on, the snipes! I need the MLG Pro snipes! <laughs> I missed everything. No! No! Come on. No, I saw that Yoshi flip. No! Come on. Come on. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Headquarters, headquarters, come in. This is Covert Ops. My mission to destroy Antonio has been a failure so far, but I feel like this time I might be able to get him in headquarters. My goal is to shut down Mr. Antonio NT and make him lose this match. I am an asshole. But that is my mission, and I will successfully. Either that, or I'll just remember. But hey, I still fell down. Just trying to see what you might be. Crap your head around that. How do how do I how do I shut him down into 12 places on the front of the whole room? Uh in my head I shut him down. 
right. Holding on to a red shell. Can we have a red shell party? Can we miss the red shell? Can we invite your friends? Maybe a blue shell? We can have a big party with lots of with, with lots of freaking cinnamon snacks and, and marshmallows. Make some s'mores, maybe go camping, have a wonderful time, and just say goodbye to Mr. First Place. Can't possibly defend against all of these. That is right. <laughs> ah, good old red shell party. Never fails. They're all drunk and they're going. Home. Actually, they uh. No, no, yeah, they 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 just going. Home. They're they they they've had their they they've had their fun. They don't need to show up anymore. They they're they're totally not going to come back. And this time. Might me instead of Mr. Hellfire. There. No, I I have to that they're my friends. Mr. Red Shell, Mr. Red Shell, you are my friends, right? Uh, you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna ruin this for me, right? No. Oh. Well, Mr. M Mr. and Mrs. Shells didn't ruin my day, but Mr. Toad's head definitely did. Depression. I mean, what? <laughs> this is not depressing. It's just sad. Oh, that's just that's just sad. <laughs> I need to stop faking laughing. It's not funny. Fake laughing is. Not Mark my words, guys. One day, one day, I will take improv lessons from all the greatest. One day. That means that means I'll learn a couple lessons from Mr. PewDiePie himself, from Markiplier, the legend Markiplier, <laughs> Jack Seppi guy, and even Van Oz Gamer. One day. <laughs> I'm totally I'm totally serious about this. I know it's totally gonna happen, and that I have complete faith that they will actually teach me improv. Completely, hundred percent fact. It will happen, guys. You know what? No, I started this off as a joke, but I'm gonna take this seriously now. I actually want this to happen. You see, I, as a YouTuber now, was inspired by them. Not because, I mean, it's both of the same exact thing, but it's because. <laughs> Like, I don't think some YouTubers realize it. And there's other YouTubers who ask them. But some of us, some of us legitimately do. Like, my goal with each and every one of these videos is to kind of make them laugh on like their day. Because people have terrible days, and it shows. Every day, every day, I see somebody. Day, and I, I want to help them. Like I legitimately, want to help them. I don't. It just makes me so sad. I mean, you see, I have this friend. I play League of Legends with him all the time, and he suffers from depression. And I just, I can't make him understand that. Things aren't going to be bad because he's depressed and he's already given up, basically. But hey, I figure instead of trying to make him feel better about himself, maybe I can just make him laugh. It's temporary, but I'm going to put a smile on his face. Sorry for the serious talk, guys. That's just, that's my goals in life. And it might not happen, and it might, who knows, I might be the next Markiplier of YouTube. But, I believe, I believe that everybody can make it a reality. There is no reason that anybody is just doomed to fail in life. The only way you fail in life is by not trying to live. 
Isn't it funny how those words are basically said multiple different ways, meaning the same thing? And it's really easy to shut me now because everybody says it. But everybody wants to say it. <laughs> that is the point. Because everybody wants to say it because it's really inspirational. And I know what inspirational quote is, but <laughs> I do like me some good old inspiration down in the down in the dumps about things that I wish weren't good at. Sadly they are. You see the thing about it though is that I'm not the kind of guy who expresses it. For the most part, I don't try to express it out. Like when I have a problem, I sure I'm not the only one. But when I have a problem I keep it really close. Close. Like I I wear a jacket. Like like Okay, let me let me give a better definition. So let's say I get bullied in school, right? I'm cuts and bruises, right? Cuts and bruises. Like I am badly beaten. I'm the kind of guy who would wear a full body jacket. Preferably leather. And I'd wear sunglasses to hide the black eye. Because I don't like people worrying about me. On a personal note. Because I don't want people to worry about me. To feel like everything in my life is just fine. And that they don't have to worry about me because they have their own problems. That's the kind of guy I am. And being that kind of guy makes me shoulder a lot more than I have to. And so, I know how it feels. <laughs> anyway, I got a second place. I'm going to be Miss, Miss What's Her Bucket this time. Actually, I think I got third place. Yeah, I got third place. That is it is. Freaking Nancy barely beat me. Oh. <laughs> it's a little bit I got this this time. This is face. I'm not losing it. I won it last time and I can win it again. That's basically what I'm saying. Yeah, you see, <laughs> you see these honest. You see these people behind me? They don't stand. No chances. Miss Nancy, you might be in front of me for now, but I got shells. I got shells on shells on shells. <laughs> Correct. Ah, uh, love me some good old shells, but I don't want to come at me because shells don't like to, shells don't like to not party. Shells are ones for partying. But the ones you really got to look out for, you got to look out for those bananas. They might look innocent. They might have family. Those bananas have families, and you know what they'll do to defend those I'm an idiot! <laughs> anyway, what I was saying, you know what they'll do to defend those families? They will trip you up. <laughs> it's, it's funny, like, because... Okay, so there was one kid who made this video, right? Ridiculing bananas, how it's so stupid that people use bananas to iconicize, like, tripping all the time, right? But he... He ends up tripping on the banana in that exact same video. <laughs> it's poetic justice in my eyes. <laughs> Don't make fun of that crap, it'll happen to you. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't even know if that was like... I swear, he probably had everything staged and he's like... I feel like he must have slipped on purpose. <laughs> Man, I almost hit the link with that bomb. Well, I don't, I don't think I'm going to I'm going to secure a second. I'm going to secure a good second. Oh no, you ain't going to get me with that banana. 
Uh, yeah, I can see that banana with his little, his, his devilish grin and his angry looking face just like, <laughs> you can't do anything to stop me. I am invincible. The only thing that you can do is sleep on me. <laughs> uh, it's nice. I take my maniacal laughs very seriously. This room got so empty. It's, it's literally, it's, well, okay, um, I'm gonna end it, guys, because the room is literally empty, and honestly, my, my throat is killing me. I don't have a YouTuber's, I don't have a YouTuber's vocal voice yet. I can't just talk for hours on hours on hours uh, by myself without my throat just completely drying up yet. I'm not there yet, but one day, one day, you guys will all be, you doubt me now, you doubt me now, but one day, all of you people, all your doubters are going to be like, that Captain Yoshi dude, he's a great guy. I, I gonna personally hipster myself and say I knew that guy when he only had three subscribers yeah you can be that guy anyway if you guys enjoyed leave a like and a subscription it re I'd really appreciate the support don't forget to share with your friends if you really enjoyed it because I need it right now need it is quick I I'd appreciate having the support of you sharing my video to your friends. It means a lot to me. It means that you really enjoyed my video to me. Also, leave a dislike if you hated my voice, if you hated everything about this, if I wasn't funny. That's fine. It just tells me that I need to work on myself. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, if you enjoyed watching my video, don't forget to leave a like or a dislike if you disliked it. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can keep watching my new videos whenever I post them. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!